this video, we will talk about the history of computers playing games. The first ever software that managed to master a game was programmed by A. S. Douglas in 1952 as part of his doctoral dissertation at Cambridge. This software was designed to play a 3x3 tic-tac-toe. He was credited with creating the first graphical computer game. The next milestones in AI research in games is the backgammon software named TD Gammon. It was developed by Gerald Tesoro in 1992. TD Gammon employs an artificial neural network, ANN. It is trained by playing backgammon against itself a few million times. TD Gammon managed to play backgammon at the level of top human backgammon player. But TD Gammon didn't solve the game. By solve, we mean that the outcomes of the games, which can be win, lose, or draw, can be correctly predicted from any position, assuming that both players played perfectly. It was only after over three decades of research on tree search in 1994, the China Checkers player, which is another program, managed to beat the world checkers champion, Marion Tinsley. The game was eventually solved in 2007. The most renowned event is Deep Blue famously won against the reigning grandmaster of chess, Gary Kaspersky, in a much publicized event in 1997. IBM's Deep Blue consists of a Minimax algorithm. A Minimax algorithm is a decision rule used in artificial intelligence, decision theory, game theory, and statistics. It aims to minimize the possible loss for a worst-case scenario, which is the maximum loss. Although it sounds complicated, it is possible to download public domain software that plays better than any human player 20 years later. When we are designing a software that aims to beat human players in games, we need to consider the branching factor. What is a branching factor? Branching factor is the average number of decisions that we can take. For example, in tic-tac-toe, after the player has put down the first marker, cross or not, the player has eight ways that he or she can put down the second marker. The average branching factor of tic-tac-toe is four. And to give you a sense of scale, the average branching factor of chess is about 35. After IBM has its success with Deep Blue, they come up with Watson, which is a software system capable of answering questions addressed in a natural language. In 2011, Watson competed on the Jeopardy TV game show and won $1 million against former winners of the game. Soon after Chinook and Deep Blue, the game of Go became the new benchmark with a branching factor that approximates 250. It has a vast search space that is many times larger than that of chess. In 2016, Lee Sando, a nine-down professional Go player, lost a five-game match against Google's DeepMind's AlphaGo software. And in 2017, AlphaGo won a three-game Go match against the world's number one player, Kurtie, winning on a single computer. Few AI researchers believe that superintelligence is imminent, but breakthroughs are hard to predict. That is because once a machine has a general learning algorithm, it can practice days and nights without pause and it will quickly become super intelligent. For example, when Lee Sandow saw AlphaGo playing in 2015, he strongly believed that he could win the game by a landslide. But AlphaGo trained itself for one year and beat him. Another example of the powerful learning ability of computers is AlphaGo Zero. It is an updated version of AlphaGo. It beat AlphaGo by 100 games to Zero with only three days of training. 